We made it through the maze. What awaits us on the other side? I think we're going to be at Rosings. We are going to Rosings to save Elizabeth's sister, Lydia, who is sick and dying after trying to run away with a man named Wickham. Hmm. Elizabeth, you shouldn't have come. I must stay away from you. For your sake, it might be dangerous for you to be here. Okay, so this is Fitzwilliam Darcy, the love of Elizabeth's life. He sort of looks like a werewolf in this version. Uh... I still don't know where Lydia is, but I know who can help. My aunt, Lady Catherine. Okay, so I'm a little confused how he knows about the situation with Lydia. Who told you, buddy? Because I don't remember telling you. I tried to talk to her, but she dismissed all the servants and closed the doors. Uh-oh. Maybe you can get in while I try to find a trace of Lydia. Okay. You know, this makes no sense. Uh, uh, you know, Darcy's like, well, I can't talk to my aunt. She loves you. Why don't you talk to her? Uh, no. No. I don't think Lady Catherine would be more convinced by, by Elizabeth than by her own flesh and blood. I, if you've read Pride and Prejudice, you know Lady Catherine hate, hate, hates Elizabeth. Like, mega super to infinity hates her. Definitely. So, it's, it's, it's just kind of funny that, that um, werewolf Darcy's like, Oh, okay, well, she probably likes you. You guys haven't met yet. Such a strange version of Pride and Prejudice. Okay, so I'm starting with the two puzzles. Um, as usual, I'm just going to start with the two puzzles of finding the fragmented objects. This gives us a smoking pipe and the fleur-de-lis. The fleur-de-lis used right over here. You should be on my side. I am the one who can control them all. <laughs> I don't need anyone. As soon as the ritual will be performed, I shall return. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the Lady Catherine I know from the book. It, you know... I will control everyone. I have power. I'm the one in charge here. Um, not so sure she would making she would be making an evil deal with the Red Witch though. That I'm not so sure about that. Anyway, Fleur de Lis goes over here, giving me the trowel. I use the trowel here to open the door. Unfortunately, the door is locked. We're gonna have a puzzle finding the key. So the puzzle's pretty simple. I'm gonna use the uh, jug here. And let me point out some other stuff. We have some clay. We're going to be making some clay in a moment. So I'm going to grab this random disc candle. Uh, we're actually going to be making the clay for this thing. See, I just broke it. I'm going to need some clay to fix it. I need a, a rose here, and I need something to make that birdie happy. So let's make that birdie happy, actually. I'll, I'll, I'll do that right now. So I, I'll grab the key right here, use it on the shed. Let's get some food for the birdie. It is so like Lady Catherine to have peacocks just wandering around her estate so she can show how fabulously wealthy she is. She does have an extraordinarily large estate. You can go on walks for days there, apparently. So here you find items, and you just put them where they're supposed to go. Like, okay, here are the peas. They go in the pea bin. Here is some grass. It goes with the other grass. Oats. Where are the oats? Oats go with the oats. Simple enough. This gives me a mallet and some seeds for the peacock. I'll give the seeds to the peacock right here. That gives me a peacock feather. Very nice. Okay, so uh, getting back to uh, the pipe. The pipe belongs to this guy. This guy. Hey, he's asleep, right? So once you fill the jug with water, just dump it on his head. That'll wake him up. Talking to her, you'll need my spare key from the terrace door. I can give it to you, but first bring me back my pipe. Sure thing, buddy. Sure thing. Here's your pipe. <sighs> you managed to get my pipe. Thanks. Here's the key. Good luck. 
Alright, there's also a rope here. Uh, I believe we have a bat there. Yeah, two bats on the screen. Two bats to find. I'll just use a hint to make sure I haven't missed anything. I haven't! Good, we're all done with the screen. For now, we'll, we'll come back. We'll come back once we do that pottery stuff. So let's go through the doorway. And I believe we're going to start off with two of these fragmented hidden objects challenges. Okay. So, let's see. We've got a chain. Uh, that thing. Ah, this is kind of difficult, obviously. it's Everything's in the dark. Uh, this is a thing, and this is a thing. So that fixes the chandelier. And then the next one is going to be finding these objects to open the door to the next room. Alrighty. Ooh, there's another bat. There's a bat grabbing that bat. Oh, there are two bats in this room. Let's see if I can find the uh, second one. Hmm. Okay, what am I missing? This one goes there. That one goes there. Good, that opens the door to Lady Catherine's office. Good, good. Well, there's the other bat. So let's take a look at some of the things here, because we, we still have puzzles. Okay, so I need all the piano keys. I have none of them. I need to find a pyramid top. That's going to be a couple of rooms away. Here, we're just going to grab stuff. Just steal everything. A paper, um, some ink, a pen. We're actually going to use it here. Just make a little copy of the design. So I use the paper and the pen. Yep, and so now I know what design I need to make out of the clay once I find a pottery wheel. And a, a way to get that clay as well. Oh, I also got a mirror fragment. Mirror fragment number two. Okay, over here on the left we have a puzzle, so we need to find bats and a bat. Uh, uh, I think like three or four bats. Bats and bat instructions to solve that puzzle. Here we need to find two keys. A sun key and a moon key. Don't know why somebody stole it. I'll use a feather here. Okay, so the peacock feather giving me, uh, what was it, a piano key and a dagger. Great, that'll protect myself. I can use that to protect myself against these evil vampires. And let's beat Lady Catherine. Hi, Lady Catherine. How did you get in? Uh, it doesn't matter. So you are Lydia's sister. Yes. Well, I think I can help you. Let's do it this way. I'll help you if you help me. I made a little mess here, and I really don't like it. Put the things back on their places. It's just kind of strange for me to see. Oh, Lady Catherine knows Elizabeth as Lydia's sister, first and foremost. Like, ah, oh, that's not why she's an important person in your life. So, Wickham gave your sister a chance to live. Her only chance. The wall is missing a candelabra. Yeah, so apparently we're going to get a lot of backstory here. So it sounds like uh, Wickham was just running away with Lydia to get married when she got sick. She got sick, terribly sick, somewhere here around Rosings. He decided to help her live. Put back the mirror. I believe Wickham wants to replace me. He wants to control the others. Oh, okay, so apparently Lady Catherine is the head vampire, and Wickham wants to be the head vampire. He wants to be the man in charge. I believe Lydia was very sick, and the doctors were useless. She didn't know how to tell you and your parents. The picture must be somewhere around here, dear. And that's an interesting line there. She didn't know how to tell you and your parents. Because we didn't really get to see the letter that Lydia wrote. What if Lydia made up that entire story about running away with Wickham and getting married just as a cover for the fact that she's sick and dying, you know? But then, why did she leave? I... Mm, it's, it's confusing to me. Try to find the bust head. I assume you already know our little secret, don't you? Yes, we are vampires. See, Lady Catherine, you should have started with that instead of, you know, saying that five things in. 
<laughs> Your sister is a vampire now. Put the wine bottle in its place. So that's how Wickham cured sick Lydia. Turned her into a vampire. That's what he did. Now the ladder, dear. Don't worry, Lydia is safe. Wickham won't hurt her. For now, at least. That sounds ominous. Is he going to hurt her in the future? I hope he really does love her and want to marry her because, uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, why would he save her life by turning her into a vampire if he didn't care about her? He must care about her a little bit, I hope. I help other vampires to control their thirst with the help of a special tonic. Wickham has stolen the tonic from me. Hmm... One wooden panel is missing. All right, so Lady Catherine, part of the reason she's the head vampire is because she invented this magic tonic that helps vampires act normally. But Wickham stole it. I found the way to live forever. A precious gift for me and my company. I don't see the tulips in the vase. Also, the tonic helps you live forever, so that's that's pretty uh, good, too. Put the chandelier decor back in its place. Lydia was here, she met Wickham, and it was love at first sight. You know, I think this explains the, the, the question I had earlier. So, Lydia went to Rosings just to be healed because she knew she was dying. She didn't go to Rosings because she was going to marry Wickham. She met Wickham at Rosings because she wanted to be healed and he could turn her into a vampire. But how did she know that he had magical vampire healing powers? I just, uh, this story has just... It just leaves me asking so many questions. I need my tonic back. If you bring me back my tonic... I will help you to make Lydia human again. There's a secret passage in the main hall. It leads to an old tower. I believe Wickham is there. Try to open the passage. Here, take this, and feel free to look around. Alrighty, so that's our goal. We're going to go through a hidden passageway to reach the tower where Wickham is. Oh, and by the way, we can turn Lydia back into a human. I think we have a note here. Gee, all of them are vampires, including my poor sister. I must find her and Darcy. So we have a note. I found out that the pure blood tonic can be used as an ingredient of the reverse potion, so the vampire can become human again. It's possible! But there is a condition. There is a condition. The vampire can't bite a human before his first red moonrise. If that happens, then he's going to be a vampire forever. He or she. So... We've got to save Lydia before she attacks someone. It means my nephew, Fitzwilliam Darcy, could become a human. I hope he'd rather become a vampire who lives forever. Just saying. Really hope that's the case, you know. Alright, that's Lady Catherine's notes. And uh, we need to open the escritoire. Wow! What a really fancy thing, yeah. Okay, so we've got a lot of stuff here. We also have a hidden passageway. Not a hidden passageway, but this is the other room. So, uh, ah, let's solve this puzzle. I'll finish this video by solving this puzzle. We open, uh, the doors. I'm gonna have to use a hint. I don't see the other book. We open the doors to the hidden, hidden passageway to the balcony. So now we've got two more areas to explore. We've got Catherine's office and the balcony. So we'll be exploring those areas in the next video.